Hey everyone, today we are making some chicken kimchi tacos. It is for my clean keto month, clean ketovore month. I'll be right back. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me lose 125 pounds eating this way. I hope that you will check out some of my recipes on my website, some of my other videos, and come along on this journey with me. If you are returning, then welcome back, and I hope you like today's video. So, uh, I'm going to make some simple taco meat today using skinless chicken thighs. I have been wondering what to do with these boneless, skinless thighs for months in my freezer. Every time I look at them and think about taking them out, I'm thinking to, in my head, nah, boring, because <laughs> uh, I really like steak. But the other day in the Facebook group, uh, Sherry posted a recipe she had made, and I thought, yeah, I could do that. I do have to change it quite a bit, like hers was a traditional. Uh, pulled chicken taco meat, um, but a lot of those ingredients I'm sensitive to, can't do them, so I'm, I'm really uh, tapering this to my own needs. Uh, it's highly tweaked. So, uh, but I'll tell you what is gonna go in here. I have three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I have chopped up four garlic cloves. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of chicken broth. Um, you can use uh, just water if you don't have chicken broth. I'm going to use a teaspoon of Redmond salt, a teaspoon of white pepper. I cannot do black pepper. Also, in case you don't know, white pepper is way lower <clears throat> in oxalates than black pepper, so something to think about. I'm going to do a teaspoon of chipotle powder and a tablespoon of some taco seasoning that I found. Make sure you get sugar-free taco seasoning. So, and, that, and that's it. Um, her original recipe had other stuff, a lot more things. It came from MarthaStewart.com, I think, most of which I, I can't include um, in here, including the salsa. The twist we are going to do later, and I'm not adding that in until later when the chicken is done, is kimchi. And I will show you how I'm going to do that later and why I'm adding it right at the end. So first, I am going to put my chicken thighs in here. I'm just going to drop them in there. I'm sure you could also do this with chicken breast if you wanted to do it, but I had thighs and uh, I just like them. They're, they're kind of meatier and fattier to me. They, they don't get dry. So uh, yeah, I really like them. So let's, let's do this. Oh, I got my garlic in there. Can't forget that. Okay. So I'm going to do one teaspoon of, I, I'm using today Redmond's onion salt. I have a few different kinds in my pantry and just whatever strikes my fancy. One teaspoon. I do tend to under season a bit because of the fact that I, I kind of do better with just uh, you know minimal amounts. So feel free to amp this up. I'm doing one teaspoon of white pepper. And I've got some chipotle pepper here. Only one teaspoon of that is going in. Ooh, it doesn't quite fit. Let me see if this one fits. You have to be careful here. I don't think it matters if I go over a bit. That's good enough. Okay, so one teaspoon of chipotle. And I've got this sugar-free taco seasoning. And I'm going to do three teaspoons to make a tablespoon. Oh, I love the smell of taco seasoning. All right, we have all our spices in there and I'm going to add a quarter cup. First, I'm gonna put this on low. I'm going to add a quarter cup of chicken broth. But like I said, you can do water. 
you don't need to add too much liquid in here because um, the chicken thighs are, are kind of fatty and there's gonna be juices released. And so I'm just adding a small amount and this should be more than enough liquid in here. So that is it. And now we wait. So you can, you have two options. You can do this on low for about eight hours uh, or on high for four hours. So I'm going to go low because I have to run out and do a little bit of shopping today. Um, and when I, when we come back in the next section, I'll show you what I'm doing for the taco shells and then what we're going to do with the kimchi after that. So we'll see you in the next section. Okay, so these have been in here for hours. I just wanted to demonstrate this. The way you can tell absolutely that they're ready is that they start to fall apart like this. They, if, if you can pull them apart just with a, a wooden spoon, they are done. So we're gonna pull them out and uh, we're gonna finish up our tacos. Okay, so... Uh, these are definitely ready to come out. I am going to put them in this bowl. Um, just wanna show you what I have here is a half a cup of kimchi, which I have chopped finely. A lot of times when you buy kimchi, the pieces are quite large and I'm, I want to mix it with the chicken. And um, so I just, I just basically took a knife and chopped it up as finely as I could. I'm just going to get the chicken into this bowl to do a little bit of shredding. Should be fairly easy. The chicken is falling apart like crazy. Just gonna pull it apart. I am going to be putting it back into the slow cooker with all the juices. It's just easier to pull apart the chicken like this. Okay, um, I'm also going to put the kimchi in there. So the reason I didn't cook the kimchi with the chicken, and I'm putting it in at the end, is that um, the reason for eating the kimchi is to get probiotics from it. And if you cook uh, like sauerkraut, kimchi, any, any of these fermented vegetables, if you cook them you know, too hot, they lose a lot of their probiotics. And so adding them in at the end uh, avoids that problem. And it is going to add just a little bit of variety to the, the taste of the chicken in here, um, a little bit of a flavor, zing, uh, probiotics, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of spiciness. It's a uh, instead of using salsa basically in here. Actually, I think there might be too much liquid in there for me to put this back in. So I'm just going to take some of the liquid out and add it to this bowl. And then That should give it enough moisture. Yeah. I'm going to make a taco too. I'll show you how to make a taco with the uh, folios, the cheese folios. They make a really good taco shell. Um, when I was in Alberta a couple of weeks ago, I was invited over to one of my cousin's place for dinner. They ordered Mexican food and they ordered me the keto taco. And the place used these, they used these for the, for their tacos. And it was really good. So I decided I was going to give that a try as well. Now you can make your own folio cheese wraps. Um, you can do this, in, you know, by baking the cheese in the oven. I didn't want to do that because of, um, it's pretty hot in here today. So I did not want to turn on the oven. So I'm going to microwave one of these. 
I actually did see recently a good uh, tutorial on how to make these and how to make a taco with them um, from Health Kathy over at Healthy Ambitions. So I'm going to link her tutorial below if you would like to make your own cheese folios, you can certainly do that. Um, and as, you know, at some point in the future when the weather cools down, I might do something like this again and, and, and I'll, make, I'll make them instead of buying them. So, so what you do, if I can get it out, is uh, you leave it on this little piece of parchment paper. I'm going to put it in the microwave for one and a half minutes and then I'm going to hang it so it turns into a taco. Then I'm going to put my taco together. So my fridge is pretty empty. I don't have any taco toppings like shredded lettuce and cheese and cilantro, all those things, avocado. I have nothing but meat and eggs pretty much in the fridge, bacon. Um, I have sour cream though. So, you know, just trying to keep the bare essentials in the fridge for my, my month of clean ketovore eating, no sweeteners this month. I will be giving you an update on my, my next Tuesday talk, which I'll film in a couple of days. Um, but it's going well, actually. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting my gold stars every day. I have not had any sweeteners of any kind in five days. I've been sticking to stuff like this, a little, a little bit of fermented foods is, and a little bit of spices is all I'm adding. E everything is meat-based. There's my taco. It's very hot when it comes out, so you want to, you know, be careful. I used a, I used a spatula here. I'm just going to bring this over here. Kind of operating the camera myself today, so I I hope that this turns out okay. And basically you just want to flip it over onto a big spoon, like chopsticks you could do it, or um, whatever you have on hand. This, this one was what I had on hand. And I'm going to, well, I'll let it hang for a moment first. And then once it sets, it'll you know kind of crisp up. Let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, it's starting to take its shape. Okay, just gonna leave it for another minute. I'm gonna give the chicken a try. The chicken, the kimchi chicken. Mmm, it's gonna be perfect in the taco. I think I can take it off the spoon now. You can also make a taco bowl out of these. Okay, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Then you can fill it up. I mean, like I said, if you're if you're not doing keto, if you're if you're keto, you can use avocado and some sliced tomatoes and shredded lettuce, all that good stuff. I'm just going to use the chicken mixture and top it with a bit of sour cream, which I think will be good. You could put some uh, shredded cheese on top of it too. But I'm trying to, I mean, I've got the cheese shell. So since I'm trying to keep my cheese to a minimum this month as well, um, I'm not going to. I think this will be just fine the way it is. So I'm going to give this a try now. Mmm, napkins definitely required. It is so good. The only thing is for next time, I would let it crisp up just a little bit more so that it's crunchy. I can see it's very hard around the edges, but where I put the meat in, it's still a little soft. But I like it. I like the shell to be crunchy. I'm gonna, and no, too spicy for you to, 
um, the dogs are here waiting. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up so I can go and have my taco and probably make another one. I will see you guys in a couple of days on the next video. Okay, this time I microwaved the shell for two minutes instead of 1.5 minutes. Every microwave is going to be different. Look how perfect it is. Let's uh, hear what it sounds like and see how it tastes. Mm-hmm. Now we have a taco.